The executive mayor of the city of Joburg, Councillor Hemen Mashaba, has this afternoon met up with several business owners in Bramfontein to sympathize with them following yesterday's violent clashes between the police and vet students, which left some of the shops here in Bramfontein vandalized and looted. We are here to come and express uh, our sympathy with the residents of our city. We are here to actually come and witness for ourselves what happened yesterday. We, we were in a business meeting yesterday where we got a phone call from one of our staff members that told us that they're burning a bus outside of the store. And the, the biggest thing for me was we were concerned about the safety of our staff and we, we told them not to go anywhere, to stay put. I then called the centre, which is South Point, and I told them, guys, please assist us because our, our staff is stuck. And they were throwing big bricks at the front while the guys were inside the store. Um, and centre management said, don't worry, we got it sorted out. We called the police, the police will escort our staff out. So for, for me, the most concern that I had was their safety. And we just wanted to get them out. Because you can replace anything inside of the store, you know. Um, insurance can sort all of that out, but you can't replace it for people's lives. I'm going to have the discussions with them now to understand do they have the necessary insurance. For us as a police, uh, the, uh, the chief of police is here with me. We are going to intensify and ensure that we put more policemen and women to ensure that they protect uh, our city and our residents. Mashaba has emphasized that although he is in full support of the plight of students affected by the Fees Must Fall movement, he is, however, against and condemns the violent clashes that erupted here in the heart of Bramfontein yesterday. As a city, we have that responsibility to ensure that our city is not vandalized by what we're seeing here. This, for me, is a clear case of pure criminality. It's, this matter here has got absolutely nothing to do to, with free education. So we are appealing to our communities, we are appealing to our students, peace-loving students of, of our city, to say, please, Help us to ensure that we protect uh, uh, our city. We were surprised um, that he was here so quickly and try to see if he can sort whatever's happening here and assure us that the perpetrators will be attended to. He's going to make sure that he says it's not a university issue. He says these are vandalization and he's going to deal with the vandalization. So that made, made us feel. And the fact that, you know, Laurent doesn't come to South Africa often. And the fact that he came here and he saw that the mayor was here to come and assist, which is... It's good for, for business, business confidence. We've already requested our law enforcement the agencies uh, to pursue everyone who was involved in this criminal act. We can believe and, and encourage our law enforcement uh, agencies to ensure that uh, there are consequences as far as this is concerned. This city and our law enforcement agencies, please go out after every single one of them was involved in this criminal act. You know, I'd like to appeal to our students and particularly to those that cannot afford uh, the type of education that our universities are offering them. That we sympathize with you as a city, we empathize. However, we're saying, please, don't allow criminal elements to hijack your good cause. You have a genuine cause uh, that everyone sympathizes with, sympathizes with you. But please, don't allow criminal elements within the city to hijack your good cause.